Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today um, we're going to pick up where we off, left off yesterday. I was messing with that fuel tank and there was an incredible amount of sand on top of it. And I have a piece of fuel line I can't get out of there. So I borrowed a pump and tubing set up from a friend of mine. We're going to try and drop the tank and pump the tank out because that's another thing I forgot that I still have like three quarters of the tank in there when we start on the work. I never even thought about, you know, the lift pump and all that that we're going to be doing. And I I just ne didn't run out of fuel like I should have. So I'm going to try and drop the tank and then maybe pump it into the gray truck. We'll see how that all goes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put my two jacks on there and hopefully we don't make a complete mess. But we'll see what happens. As you can see, there is shit all in this thing. I mean, yeah, this was definitely off-roaded or doomed or whatever you people call it. But look at just the crap that fell while I was dropping the tank. Another thing I just noticed, this is free to atmosphere. There should be a little breather on there, like on the rears and all. That's, uh, that's no bueno. I'm going to clean this up and... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll try and pump it out. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. More questions. This, uh, yeah. Right here, this little, uh, breather here should look just like this one. Why the hell it's not? I have no idea why anybody would do that. try and power it with my little anti-gravity jump box see how long it runs uh, the first little bit I'm gonna put it into my drain pan make sure everything looks good and then I'll put it in the truck and hopefully lighten this thing up a bit see there is minimal fuel left in the tank we are light as a feather uh, so I'm gonna 
Oh, and the uh, Black Start anti gravity battery, the little jump box thing worked flawlessly. It was great for powering this. Uh, a couple times when it was losing suction, it was getting air. I thought that battery was dying. No, it was just getting air. I'm going to clean this fuel sender up. I'm going to clean the tank up. I know there's a bunch of deletes you can do on here. Um, most people put these in the center of the tank, right where those two humps are. Um, on the gray truck here, a, a, an install so I didn't have to drop the tank. And I put it off to the side here. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that. But here's where they normally put it. I put it off to the side here, and that works fantastic. Never had a problem. I, I'll run it on low fuel, you know, where the gauge won't even give you a distance empty. It just says low fuel. So, to me, if you're not going to drop the tank, this is a better spot to put it. If you're drilling into the center, you're drilling into this basket and all, and, you know, that, that can just provide other problems as far as I'm concerned. So, if you want a an install where you don't drop the tank, that's what I would do. Being that our tank is already out, I guess I might as well delete all the shit out of here. I mean, we don't need it and all that. So I'm gonna clean all this shit up and uh, I'll get back to you. So the tank's all cleaned up, looking fresh again. The inside of the tank is surprisingly clean. Um, I definitely thought I would find a bunch of shit in there, especially what I found with the truck so far. And with this breather here being off, we're gonna have to get a new check valve or whatever for that. I was looking at the bottom of the truck here to try and figure out what should I do while I have this tank out? Because I wasn't really planning on pulling the tank. So I noticed a couple things. There's a bunch of holes. I guess they had toolboxes, whatever. You know how that goes. And I saw this hole. See that? It's cracked. Man, what the fuck? Well, then it, that led me to another discovery. Look at this shit. I don't know what the fuck they were doing to do this. I mean, it's just destroyed, and then back here as well. I mean, it just that baffles my mind. But if you can see the duct tape there, the reason I never noticed this before was whoever owned this before they they used duct tape and rhino lined over it to look like bed liner. That's just duct tape. That's fucking incredible. I can't fucking believe it. This fucking truck has seen some shit. God damn. All right, guys, so that's it for tonight. You might be wondering why I'm completely soaking wet. But you're gonna have to tune in, in the next video to find out why. And a uh, little warning for anybody who watches my videos on the regular, I'm gonna throw some clickbait in the uh, titles and all that stuff, so. Just giving you a little fair warning. Get out in the garage, get the wrenching on your truck.